What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great week so far. All right, guys, we're going to go to Psalm 2606. Now, before we jump into this, you guys know I never find anything that looks like humanoid or any of that sort. And this may be my mind playing games with me, but I'm going to show you something pretty interesting I, I found in, in uh, one of Neville's uh, Gigapans. And it just struck me like, what? And I think you guys will have the same uh, mindset as me. You're going to be just like, wow, that does eerily look like that. Uh, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm going to show you some more interesting things in this Gigapan. Let's get into this. All right, you can see it right here. It is from Neville Thompson. Thank you, Neville, for doing this work. And you can see it was December 10th, 2019 that he posted this because I think we're on 2611 right now uh, presently. So it might be maybe uh, 12 or 13 by now. Anyway, so you got the, uh, the date he added this was December 10th, 2019. And you can see the size. It's a little over... Half a gigapixel. You can see it's 0.62 gigapixels. And uh, there you go. So this is the photo we're going to look at. Now, when I saw this, I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen for you guys. Let it center. Now, again, when I saw this, first thing I thought of is, what is going on here? What am I going to show you the, the object I'm talking about? And then I'm going to show you that real quickly uh, in uh, Photoshop. And then I'm going to show you some other little things in here that just kind of have you scratching your head. Let's get into it. Go all the way to the left here on the top of this so-called mountain. And I don't think it's a mountain, but let's call it a mountain or butte. And check this out. Is anybody seeing what I'm seeing right here? What is that? Okay. The first thing that came to my mind was some kind of machine. You can see the edge of it right here. And it kind of goes like this. It's rounded, but this right here kind of throws it off. But it's right there. It goes like this here. And you can see something right here it looks like a white triangle. And there's other little pieces here. I'm going to enhance. I'm going to show you this a little bit better. Um, but this is what I've seen right off the bat. Right here, it slopes up. Boom, stops, come down, goes across, and goes behind. It looks like a freaking alien that's just passed on a dead behind the wheel. Now, is it possible when this destruction happened that, you know, they say that everything would be like a freeze-dried, right? You'd like almost instantly freeze in time. Um that's what I saw. Now, is it just my mind playing games? Good possibility, right? But that's what I'm seeing. And it looks like there might be something right here if it was, in fact, a little vehicle with some kind of uh, alien or humanoid type thing in there. And that would be the controls, right? What do you guys think of that? That is just weird. Now, let me show you that real quick. There's also something on this side. Check this out. Now, notice right here. Goes like this and comes down. This brown is there hiding what this really is. And I try to bring it out the best I could. Let me show you that real quick. All right, so here's the photo right here. Check this out. Here we go with the blue sky. Am I sneaking this color in? No, this is what Photoshop sees. Look at auto tone right off the bat. We want to do auto contrast. And then we want to do auto color. Okay, there it is, guys. This is the way that Photoshop sees the photo. Now, some people say, is it, you know, somehow they set it up to do that so it'll, like, purposely bring this out and then try to fool you. No. Well, I don't believe that's the case, right? Because, um, like I said, this sky could be purple. Why, isn't it, why isn't it pink? Why isn't it some other weird color? It's not. It's seeing the real photo and it's pulling it out, right? Okay. So the signature of the photo is, in fact, there. Now, if you take the Molly cam, which has this door on it, it's actually a lens that goes over the actual camera, Goes like this and opens and closes. That lens, that plastic or that glass lens that's over that or built into it is actually red. But the photo behind that red is actually the real colors. This is what Photoshop's dragging through, okay? Now, this object right here, as I said, right here, I'm going to just give you the guys a full enhancement, and here you go. Now, whatever the hell this thing is here, Right there, you can see it's going, the white or grayish is going down here. There's other parts right here. So we're going to bring that out. I'm going to sharpen it just a hair. And there you go. Look at this thing. What is that? And you can see this right here, guys. It's pretty cool. It goes up like this. Okay. It then goes up like this. Kind of goes down. Goes like this behind. Goes like this. Now, look at these other interesting objects sitting right on the side of it. You can see right here, there's like a separation. is white, white, this rectangular white pot here. This pot going this way, it's rectangular, but going top and bottom. And this one here is sideways. But look at this objects right here. Again, right there, right? 
That doesn't look like standard rock or some kind of rock you would see anywhere I come from. All right, and then you got this object right here. This looks like a humanoid. It looks at the eye. Eye might be like a mask or something or the mouth area. And clearly you got the head right here. Now, what the hell is that, guys? See that? What are we looking at? That's crazy. And, of course, again, we've got this other object here. That is not a rock. And there's something right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. But, again, they try to put this layering over this. And you can see this little black hole right there. Or detail. Call it what you will. See that? What do you guys think about that? To me, I mean, that's the first thing I noticed on this rock. And I'm looking, it looks like this thing is just like slumped over behind the controls of what looks like this may be some kind of weird vehicle. What do you guys think of that? That, to me, is just crazy. Am I seeing things? And if you're seeing it, are we all just seeing these things and it's just just simple rock and it's our imagination? You guys can also let me know about that. Now, let me show you guys something interesting because we always talk about water here, right? Now, NASA also talks about wind, all kinds of crazy stuff happened on this planet. It's kind of a violent planet, but yet dry, frozen planet, so on and so forth. Now, when I saw what looks like this water streaming down this right here, come on, look at this. This is recent. Look at this. Look at the way this comes down. And let's say it wasn't today, last week, whatever. This was recent. Look at the way this flows down, comes down to here, and it's probably kept on going. Look at this. It comes right down. Goes around. You can see it's going around this, this uh, outcropping of small rocks. See it going down and around it, coming down, puddles up a little bit over here, and keeps on going down. Look at this. Here, same way. This almost looks like some kind of weird end of an aqueduct or some kind of opening here. But anyway, and if it was to come between these rocks right here, look at this. Look at the way this is coming out right here. This may actually be running water, but they made it look like it's just like a mud more than anything, right? But you can see it kind of goes like this. Look at the way this kind of comes down. It goes around this rock. Comes down around here. Look at this. And it just finds its way to the bottom. See this? Same thing here. These are running down. Goes around these rocks. That's a lot of water to be able to do that, guys. Look at that. This, to me, I mean, come on. You know this is recent. And this is, again, this is 2606. The latest solid is like 2611. This is not that long ago. Now, as I told you guys before, I think these photos are like a month behind. Gives them plenty of time to, to actually mess with these photos. Okay, let's call it two months ago for argument's sake. Who cares? The whole point is that does not look like something you should see on a dead barren planet that is windblown, dust everywhere. That should be covered up. It's kind of like a snowstorm, right, with your footprint. It should be covered up by now. You shouldn't see any of that. And it should be so damn dry. It should be cracked and everything. Come on. I, I, think, I think we're actually seeing the real deal here. Look, at, again, in here. Coming down these rocks right here. Coming all these different directions. Coming down here. Just coming down, flowing down. Now, let me show you a couple interesting rocks at the top of this. I think this is some kind of structure, to be honest with you. Let me show you a couple of reasons why I say that. Look at the way this thing does this. Comes down like this here. All the way down, you can see this line. Now, take note of what looks like panels. Line. Goes across, comes back up. Another edge line goes across. Nice fine line right there in between. It's coming down in here. Now, also take note, there is a stitch right here going across the photo. So these are two different photos here and here. However, you can still see this one here and here's the line. So it's above that line, another one here. Okay. Now, this is two things. Either they're using, they're squaring up the area and, and just blocking it that way or... These have actually been uh, actually intelligently put there. And that's what we've seen in the other Gigapan on the top of this mountain, or one of these mountains, these buttes, right? Same damn thing. Check this out. Look at the way this thing goes like this. It's like almost like a little framework. And look at the way they covered whatever that is right there. It's almost the shape of a turtle shell, but it's not. not. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm trying to give you guys the idea of this, the shape of it, right? And you can see this right here. Always look for the white because, well, white or gray. Because these objects are literally being hidden to look like it's, it's you know, part of the ground. Check this out. Look at this pattern over this. And I might go a little bit deeper into this thing because you can actually see lines right here, very fine. And I'm not talking about the orange, what look like orange areas making these white squares. 
I'm talking about the actual lines here. If you guys can see that. Look at this. There's actually a line right here. Just notice it comes down. Goes well, it goes behind this orange. Down over here. There's something shaped inside there, guys. Look at this. Again, it almost looks like the skin of uh, of a structure made to look like a butte. Look at this stuff. Look at this. Here's an edge. Here's a, supposedly the cover. Look at these things underneath. Look at this. See that? What is doing that? Is that natural? Look at these right here. Looks like a dark square and gray with a black circle. This right here. More whited area there. And then you get these weird cluster rocks here at the top. This is just bizarre looking. Now, I've never seen any rocks actually do this, guys. But but again, look, at we see these like sections like they've been broken open. Look at the white pieces right here. Again, dot, like a dark circle detail in there. See that? It looks like framework. So, and this is nothing more than a cover. That's what it looks like to me. Check this out. Again, these pieces underneath. Well, this looks like it's round, meaning it's got a round piece here. It goes like this and goes right in the center of that other piece, that white piece underneath this. See this? Right here, these pieces. Let me just back up a little bit. These objects right here. Look at this. Look at the way the, we've got these weird pieces. And you get these weird lines like this. Look at this. Goes around, coming down, coming down. Now, it's not the clearest photo, but nonetheless, it is. You can see it pretty good. That's why I try to go back out a little bit and back in. Again, here we go. It looks like these square panels right here up at the top. Goes across. And you got what looks like spaces in between there. It's like it's a framework. And this brown here, a lot of this stuff is nothing more than a skin to it. Okay? Now, is that what it is? I don't know. Purely speculation here, guys. There's no way of knowing. But that's the way it appears, right? Okay, let's jump out of that a little bit. Again, we got what looks like an area. It looks like there was water flowing here at one time. Check this out right here. It's like almost like a pipe type thing. See, it goes like this here, underneath here. Actually comes out like this, like this U-shaped thing. See, this right here. You can see the very, very fine line right there. This black circle, and it looks like almost like a weird, funky pipe coming out of that thing. I don't think these are rocks at all. I think they're being doctored up to look like it's a rock. It's not. Piece is right here. This black piece right here, just right here and on the very top. Again, it looks like it right here. It looks like it's raised up. And there's a black space right there or just like nothing inside there. But and this right here. Well, this is where my wrench went. Open and wrench. Oh, like you folks over in the UK like to say, spanner. Check this out. Nice contour here, almost like a half circle right there. Of course, you can see this is not perfectly aligned. You can see the stitch right here and right there. It's pretty close. It's pretty darn close, but check that right there. And you can see an intersection of here of the actual photos is line going down, line going up, and side to side. So they got four photos there. One, two, three, four. Now, some people have been asking me, hey, Chris, what's going on, man? Where's the NASA photos? Well, they made it much more difficult to find, guys. Um, and here's the thing. The reason why I like doing a lot of these pans is because, uh, like Neville likes to do, he likes to do PDS form. PDS form is much more detailed than, obviously, a JPEG, a TIFF, so on and so forth. And he gets the PDS or the best ones he can get to make the best photo, right? Um and you get to see all of the photos from that day in one pan, which to me is phenomenal and awesome because you can look back and see the whole area as opposed to one little area. And, you, and then I have you guys saying, hey, can you tell me how big this is? Well, unfortunately, there's no scale, so there's no way to do that either. Um, and oh, the only thing you can do is back out, have a look at this like this here, and just look at it like this. Now, there's no way of knowing that. This could be 30 feet high, 40 feet high. Who the hell knows? Um, but whatever's on top of these buttes or, or this particular butte, um, it may be very small. We don't know. Within feet, 10 feet, 20 feet uh, in length because you're talking about up and away from you uh, from that distance, right? Check this out. Here's that funky look of rocks. I'm saying, these rocks? Really? Look at the way the shape of that thing is with the spaces in between. 
Nice round, what looks like almost like a ring type thing. Look at again, it's been doctored up. You can see where they mushed this over, but look at the stuff inside right there. See it? Just crazy stuff here, guys. Uh, check this out over here. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Straight edge. Comes over to here. Stops. Is an end. And goes back out this way. Look at the two holes. One. Two. At least these looks like two holes or two circular details inside this. Again, it almost looks like what we saw in that rock that was torn open on the other pan. Where it looks like uh, some kind of girder or some kind of steel thing. And here's another thing I just noticed. Again, we're looking at this side of it, this edge, the end of it right here, and then goes back down the other side. But look right here. It looks like another half circle or a piece or maybe a quarter circle and another one right there. It says one, two, three, four. Look at the spaces in between. What's the chance of that looking like this weird, I'm going to call it a flat strap with these round circles in it, right? What's the chances of seeing that? These objects down here. Guys, we're supposed to be seeing rocks. We're not supposed to be seeing things that have these funky shapes, these anomalous-looking objects uh, here in these rocks, right? What's the chance of this being like this triangular piece? See how things are ghosted underneath it? This has been overlaid over it, but you can see the white pieces in between. Now, that's what you want to find, that the little white pieces like that in gray. Looks like this thing overhangs right here, and you've got these pieces underneath. See that? And these objects right here. Uh, there's something right in here. See this edge of this piece right here? Just some crazy looking stuff in here, guys. Check this out. Objects right here. Um, just crazy things. Look at this perfect circle sitting right here. See that? And you can see these straight lines like these are actually panels. Again, here we go again. Look, right here. Goes across and goes back up this way right there. And you can see, again, a bit of white. What is this on top here? Got this white piece up here. Or something dark on top of it. Uh, look, here we go. There's just something else I just seen just before I was going to just get off this. Right here, smooth corner, white. Goes across here. You can see it come down. Look at the way these things look in here. Look at this. Seriously? That's a rock? Weird looking framework. It looks like there's whatever the hell this thing busted to pieces, and that's what we're seeing. Framework. Maybe you guys have a different explanation for it. Look at this thing right here. One, two, almost has this H shape. Right? But check that out right there. Broken pieces, things that look like they've been busted up. You guys, be the judge. Tell me what else you find in this pan. There's so much more to see in here. It's just crazy. Absolute crazy stuff in here. Again, look at look, looks like it's been all broken apart. See it? All this whole piece right here. Looks like it's been just smashed apart. And that's what we're seeing. Parts of the frame that was holding it together or whatever. Look at this. Again, right in here. These pieces are laying around. Back out a little bit. Anyway, guys, like I said, I'm not going to take too much longer on this. And like I said, I don't want it to be super, super long, so you understand. Tell me what you guys are seeing here. I know a lot of you guys will pull a lot of different things out of here. Like, Chris, you missed this. No, not really. I didn't, now, Again, I don't want to make them super long. I just want you guys to be able to see the main things I wanted to uh, convey to you guys. What do you think about that first object I show you on the very left-hand side? Is that our minds playing tricks with this? What's going on with that? Drop your comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to like and please share. Always appreciated. You guys know that. It helps get the word out, right? Um, and to me, people just need to see this stuff. Again, I got another pan to go over, so you guys can check that out a little bit better as well with your magnifiers. Awesome stuff. So that one's coming up, and as well as another moon one I might have on the back burner. I'm trying to get that done, too. Um, so got some more crazy stuff coming up for you guys, so stay tuned. And if you haven't uh, already uh, subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little bell on the side so you can get notified of the next videos coming up. With that, I'm going to let you guys go, and I'll see you in the next video.